My name is Giselle Kalenic, and I'm a statistical consultant at the University of Michigan's Center for Statistical Consultation and Research, also known as CSCAR. In today's lesson, we will be learning how to import source documents into InVivo 9. To begin, you can open your InVivo project. Here I have Giselle's CSCAR project. To open it, I can just double click on the file. It will take a moment for InVivo to launch. Here we see our InVivo project, which is currently a blank project. We don't have any sources or codes or classifications in this project. Under the Sources tab, we notice that we have a few different folders that are affiliated with the different types of sources we can have in InVivo. The first folder that we have is the Internals folder, and this generally constitutes all research material collected during your study, such as documents, audio files, video files, pictures, data sets, basically anything you want to pull into the InVivo project that's been created elsewhere. We also have a folder for externals, and externals are any items that can't directly be imported into InVivo, but you would like to have reference to within your InVivo project. There's also a memos folder, and memos are generally used for record keeping uh, within your own project. We primarily work with internal sources in InVivo. To get started, we can right click in this large white space and notice that we have two options, new internal or import internals. In InVivo, we can directly create a new internal document. If I select new internal and new document, I could give it a name. Here I'm calling it Giselle's test document. And now I have a an opportunity to type in anything I would like. So if I had an interview, I could say interview with client on 7-19-2012. And then I can ask the client information. such as what type of project are you working on. The client could respond, a in vivo project. Now I've created a source in in vivo. More often than not though, people already have Word documents or PDF files or Excel data sets that they'd like to import into in vivo. I'm going to go ahead and close out of my test document Once I close out of my test document, notice InVivo did not ask me if I wanted to save. It automatically saved everything that I had typed into that test document. If I go ahead and double click on the test document again, you can see everything that I've originally typed into the document. If I would like to make any edits to this, I would go ahead and click on the click to edit button and now it becomes an editable region again. To import an internal, we can right click and select import internals. We have many different options and in this tutorial we'll work on importing documents and importing PDFs. In future tutorials we'll look at importing audio and video files along with importing data sets. Here I have four Word documents that I would like to import which represent four mock interviews. I'll select Import Documents, and then I need to browse to where those files are saved. Currently, these interview transcripts are saved on my desktop. If I browse to my desktop, you'll see that I have four documents, one for Barbara, Margaret, 
Robert and Thomas. Using the control key, holding it down, I can select all four interviews at the same time and select open. Next I'll select OK and Enviva will take a moment to import these new documents. Once these documents are imported into Envivo, if I want to actually view them, I can just double click on them, like so. I've double clicked on Barbara's document, and now I can see Barbara's interview. If you discover a typo in a document that you've imported, you can always click on the Click to Edit button and make any corrections that you need to make. Once again, when you're done making an edit, you don't need to save. You can just close out of it, and Envivo is saving along the way. I'd also like to import a PDF document. To do that, again, we'll just right-click in the white space, select Import Internals, and Import PDFs. I will browse to my desktop, and on my desktop, I see Thomas PDF. This is just Thomas's interview, but converted to PDF form. I'll go ahead and say open, and then OK. And I'll further say OK. And now I see Thomas's PDF. When I double click on it, Notice it looks very similar to the format we saw with the Word documents, but also notice we don't have that click to edit button anymore. So when we pull in a PDF file in InVivo, we can no longer make edits to the original text. We can only do that when we're pulling in a Word document. Also notice in InVivo, if you'd like to view multiple documents at the same time, that's not a problem. All you have to do is double click on the document of interest. And each document is now represented by a separate tab in InVivo. This concludes our tutorial on how to import and create source documents in InVivo.